Today I am with Ace Face from Twisted Dice and we are playing a Confrontation 3 something. It's definitely something. <laughs> Practice game? Yes, that's the one. Go with that. Thousand Sons versus Necrons. Necrons! Not everyone's going to be as cheesy as Ace, are they? <laughs> Nick speaking, and welcome to this battle report. Right, today I am here with Ace Face. Hello, Ace Face. Hello, Ace Face. We are going to a tournament tomorrow. We are. And we are going to have a practice game today. Your Thousand Sons, so I'm told. Kind of. I'm going to name them Demon Soup. <laughs> uh, and, of course, I'm going to be playing Necrons. Uh, so, I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, it should be yeah. fun. Have you had many practice games with your list so far? Uh, just a couple. Um, one on the channel, which was a slight tweak, but but very similar to the, this list. Um, yeah, it's. I know you can get a lot of hate because people don't like this this type of list, but um, it's a tournament list, so please, guys, go easy. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's a hard hitting list. It's definitely not optimized. Um, it does suffer if it doesn't go 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 first so I'm hoping fingers crossed I get first turn otherwise I could be in trouble um, but other than that it's yeah it's going to be fun hopefully it'll be quick it's I'm quick. sure it'll go quick either way <laughs> but yeah so. so go easy with me please guys so Ace is from uh, the channel Twisted Dice and he has his own channel as well Ace Face and you're probably more well known for playing Tyranids Yes, my first love, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, um, Tyranid Tactics is my yeah. big thing, and yeah, I've been playing Tyranids now for a long time. But I'd like to kind of dabble with a bit of uh, other armies as well. So yeah, excellent. Right, so shall we get on with this game? Let's Have a look at our in. armies. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here we go. We are all deployed, ready to play the game. We are playing Scorched Earth, so we've got six objectives and they're worth one point at the end of each of our turns. So let's have a look at the Necron Force first. So we've got Imatek heading up the Outrider Detachment in the Sotek Dynasty. We then have a Cloak Cryptek, and he's got the Veil of Darkness. Two squads of maxed out six destroyers and a unit of six scarab swarms. Up over on that building there with an objective is a doomsday arc and then all the way over this side here we've got the triarch stalker that's got the twin heavy gauze cannon and then another doomsday arc again on an objective hiding behind here. There's a unit of five wraiths one with a particle caster. That is the Necron Force. The other objectives, we've got two in the middle, one here, and one hiding behind the generator, just there. And then we're gonna go over and have a look at the Demon Soup Army, aren't we, Ace? Yeah, it's not a soup army, it's a thousand sons army, <laughs> honestly. Okay, so you've got one objective at the back here in your deployment zone, you? with some- Brimstone Horrors, yeah. yeah. Araman. The Warlord. Yep. Sit behind the big guys. Okay, and then we've got, of course, Magnus, and somehow Mortarion is in this <laughs> Thousand Sons army. <laughs> and then moving along, we've got two Demon Princes, and there is another Demon Prince of Corn. is yep. that right? That's right, yeah. Yep. He has the Soul, um, soul Weaver Axe, and he'll be in the, uh, he's in the warp at the moment. Okay, so yeah, he's in reserve. And then on this side of the table, we've got another objective and some more Brimstone Horrors. Yep, There's two units, and then the Change Caster as well, so the Herald is in there as well. Okay, so Ace had ten drops, I had nine which means I will get plus one to see who goes first. And I'm thinking I need to go first. <laughs> so, so let's uh, do the roll off. Okay, so here we go. Let's find out <laughs> who's going first. I'm a bit nervous about this. I want to go first. Come on, Necron Dice. A three, plus one for me, it's so a it's a draw. Yeah. Reroll. Five and a two, oh dear. Okay, <laughs> but. Come on, seize the initiative roll. We're looking. Easy. Easy. We're looking for this Necron symbol. You got this. Come on. You got this. Come on. Necron fans. Everywhere. Necrons! Oh. So close. No, oh dear. Okay, so this will be fun. So it's going to be the Thousand Suns. Thank you. Turn one. Okay, so turn one for the Thousand Suns. 
just finished moving and advancing. We've got these <laughs> big blob of beasties <laughs> here. Uh, basically, yeah, we'll, we've got everything there basically, haven't you? Apart from the little brimstone horrors who've gone up onto the objectives. So, Ace, we are now in the psychic phase. That's right. Any psychic powers, or would you like to pass on this? I skip this phase. It yeah. Very hard. <laughs> that makes you feel yeah. Okay. What have you got? Okay. So here we go. Psychic phase. Okay. So I'm going to start off with Gaze of Fate, um, which is from my Change Caster, um, and this is a walk charge of six, and it will give me a free reroll for the turn, uh, which I get it off. Okay. Um, and then we'll move straight over to the main event, over to the centre, and Magnus will cast, um, he will cast Warp Time on to his good friend, the uh, Mortarium, and this okay. is another casting value of six, um, which he gets it off as he gets his plus two as well, anyway, and okay. um, so we'll just move Mortarium, come back. Yep, okay, so next. So we'll carry on with Magnus while we're on him, mm -hmm. um, and he will now do, he will do Glamour of Zinch, uh, which will give him a minus one. So hit yep. him. Um, so this is a wall charge of seven. Uh, Rerolling ones because he's Magnus. So that goes yep, off. Yeah, goes off. Yeah, absolutely. So that gives him a minus one. Um, and then for his um, next spell, he will do um, Smite. So he's going to do Smite yep. on to your Scarabs. Scarabs. Which is closest to yep. target. Uh, Rerolling ones. So. So it's not the the mega smite, so it'll just be D6. Okay. Uh, so it'll just be two. Two. So two mortal wounds, yeah. Okay, so one wound left on that scarab there. Okay, so next we'll go into Mortarian. So Mortarian is going to cast uh, Miasma of Pestilence. Um, so this is a warp charge value of six, and this will give him minus one to hit him. Okay. Oh, does fail. I am going to use my three reroll on this one. Okay. And four, which I do not get. Uh, and three reroll on the other one. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna use another reroll. So I'm gonna use the, CP, on the no. other dice. Yep. So this one is rather than the three reroll, this is okay. actually the CP reroll. Yep. Get it. No so plus. No it, minus no. one to hit him, which is okay. quite annoying. And that's one CP down. And yep. um, we'll now go and do the Curse of the Leper. So we'll cast Curse of the Leper. Um, that is the closest visible unit, which I think is going to be still your Scarabs. Yep. Um, or seven dice. Casting value of six. Yep. So yeah, yep. get that off. Um, so now this is roll seven dice. So it's a mortal wound for each roll exceeds the toughness characteristics. Okay, on toughness Two. three. Toughness three. Okay, so I need fours. Fours do mortal wounds. Wow, it's not 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 the greatest roll there. Oh dear. <laughs> Zero. 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 Um, okay. So that's the end of his psychic powers. Well, he can come again. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so moving swiftly on, we'll forget about that. <laughs> um, and we'll move on to Araman. Araman is going to do. Uh, Weavers of Fate onto Magnus. Yep. Um, so I need a warp charge of six. I get plus one for Araman. Uh, Rerolling ones because of Magnus. And um, get it anyway. Yep. Um, so that goes off. So uh, that will give him plus one vulnerable save. Um, I'll then quickly measure out to check that Araman is within range of any smites. Okay, so he's in range for smite on the Doomsday Arc. That's right. So you get plus one to this. Um, so that's 10, and so it's just again, just the 3 so just one off the... One mortal wound off the Doomsday Arc. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Um, and all his other powers are outside of range. So I'm now going to do Doom Bolt into, again, into the Scarabs. Scarabs. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so get it off massively anyway. So uh, that will be D3 mortal wounds. Okay. Just one again. One, okay. Yeah, lots of ones being rolled. Um, Scarab base is dead, unless you can re roll it. Or uh, no, I can't no. do any more re rolls, okay. um, but uh, they, their movement is now halved. Okay. Um, and they cannot advance, so okay. that, that's them. Yep. 
Uh, we will then do diabolic strength, and we're going to do diabolic strength onto Moteria. Of course, yes. Six. Six. Reroll ones. Yep. So that we'll just double check that it's it's yeah. We'll charge your six. So yep. Yeah, goes, goes off. off. Okay. And I think. What strength is he normally then? He, he's always going to be winning on two. But it gives you an extra attack, which is oh, okay. why, why it's useful. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Um, why well, I use it? So yep. that I believe it's all house. Just check the other one. And then I have a smite from the other Demon Prince, and that'll be it. Okay, and that's be into the scarabs. scarabs against smites from the Demon Prince. From the other Demon Prince. Um, yeah, goes, goes off. off. Yep. D3. It's a two. Two. Two, two, mortal, two wounds. mortal wounds. Yep. Okay. All done. And that is me. All psychic okay. powers. Easy as that, no problems. Straight into the shooting phase. Do you have shooting? I have one gun. One gun, which is quite nasty, I've been told. I have the lantern, yeah. So yeah. I have Mortarian's lantern. So I pick a, a unit uh, within 18 inches of him. Um, and then if I hit them, every unit that the line is drawn through, um, I, I also hit as well. Okay. Um, it's so quite an unusual, it's quite an old rule this, isn't it? So it is, like lines, the are, line. lines are yeah. a thing of the past, aren't they? Yeah. Um, let's just quickly check, I'm pretty sure it's 18, it's from WGS, it is 18. Yep, okay, so I think you've got quite a lot of characters. But, uh, You're telling me I deployed wrong. wrong, aren't you? You're telling me I deployed wrong. Uh, maybe, maybe. Okay, so we've just measured up. Uh, both units of destroyers, the Scarabs and Imitech, are under the line. So, okay, so we go. first of all, I've got to roll to hit. So I need okay. to roll to hit, and if I don't hit on this one, it all fails anyway, because everything else is auto hitting the other uh, okay. units on there. So I'm hitting the uh, unit of destroyer okay. back, um, and I need two, which I hit. Okay. So it's hit, so everything is now hit. So now I roll to wound on the individual units. Right. Um, so it's strength seven, um, so I will be threes on everything apart from the scarabs, which are inside seven inches, so they're minus one toughness. Okay. Um, we should take them down to toughness two. Two, yep. Um, so they'll be hit wounding on twos. Um, okay, so the back unit of destroyers, so twos, yep, so that is wounded. Um, then Imatec, he's wounded. The front unit of destroyers, they're wounded. Oh, so no, they're not wounded. Okay. Because, um, yeah, because uh, strength seven. Toughness five. Yeah, so, but you're, no, even on toughness four, it won't make a difference, because even if you're reduced toughness, it's still fine. Okay. Um, and then on to the scarabs. And it's a three, so yep, they are wounded. Okay. So this is, um, it's minus three AP. Okay, so first of all, Imatech is going to take his invulnerable save, uh, a 1, and then the destroyer unit will have a 5 plus cover save, and they save it, and the scarabs, of course, have no saves. So how many wounds does that do? Flat 3 damage. 3 damage each. Okay, so assault phase, and Mortarian here has decided to charge my scarabs and destroyers. So we're going to do some overwatch. So let's get some destroyer dice. Okay, looking for sixes. Lots of ones, which although isn't very good, at least it means I can re-roll them. So there's two sixes in that pile, and the re-rolls. No more sixes, lots of fives. Okay, so strength six, toughness seven, I assume. That's right. So we're going to need fives. I get one six. So this that's minus minus three. Uh, three. Minus three. So four up in bomb. Four up in bomb. Yeah, I make it. Yeah. Three. Okay. So can Morty guess in? When you've been measured up, you need a five for the scarabs and a six for the destroyers. Yeah. Yeah. He is definitely in with a seven. The number. Of the Lord. <laughs> okay, so assault phase. So first of all, he has this little trickery power giving uh, mortal wounds to any units within six any models. Is it within six uh, seven units, inches? Any units, units? Yeah. So every unit within seven inches of him. Okay. On a four plus will take D three mortal wounds. Right. Okay. Okay. And um, so the scarabs. Scarabs. Yeah. Nope. They're fine. Okay. And then destroyers. Destroyers. No. Nope. All right. Uh, and then the cryptic. Yes. Imitech can't believe it. Look, <laughs> he's fallen over. <laughs> so D three. 
So just the one mortal wound. One. Is this a separate unit? Yes, so it's another destroyer unit. So another unit destroyers. Yeah. Yep. And then D3. So two. two. Okay. That's what he's got, yeah? <laughs> that's it, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I've been told he has 21 attacks with his uh, diabolical strength. So he's definitely going to try and bop me on the head. So his Let's... extra attacks are coming from the fact that he got diabolical strength off. So yep. And then he's doing the sweeping attack with his scythe rather than the eviscerating blow. Okay, sounds painful, but... You never know, the dice guards will decide. Okay, so assault phase. I am minus one to my toughness from the Aurora of Mortarian. So the destroyers are toughness four, so Ace is going to need twos to wound. Right, first of all though, to get the hits off. Uh, so needing twos. Twos. Re rolling. Rerolling the ones. So that's all of them. Everything in. And now needing twos. Rerolling ones. Another re-roll. Oh, Didn't two miss. So that should be nineteen. Should be nineteen. Wins. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so nineteen minus two. Okay, so nineteen saves, and I need fives. One's on the floor. Okay. Okay, so with all of the fouls, that means five destroyers are dead. Okay, so now the nerglings are going to attack me. So this D six. Three attacks, yeah? Yeah, three attacks. Still got hits. Still hits on twos. Okay. And re rolls ones. Good oh. job. Double one. Three two, two get through. Yeah, strength two, so I need five because you're down to toughness. Four. Four, so no, you need sixes. Double, Double one. one. Nice. And play weapon though, so re roll. Alright, oh, okay. Get one, no one. minus. No minus. Okay, so three plus save. And saved on a six. Right, and now my destroyer, which is left, is going to attack. So we need threes, both in, and fives. One save. Come on, for the glory of the gods. A one. Disgusting resilient. Oh. A two. Lose the wound. Okay, <laughs> I did some damage. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, I did my morale on my destroyers and I rolled a five, so we are fine. So that is the end of the Thousand Suns, turn one. We're going to move in now to Necron, turn one. Okay, so Necron's turn one. Yeah. So, first of all, we're going to do Living Metal on this, taking it back up to full wounds. And then the Cryptic, he's going to have a D3 Living Metal. And he gets one wound back, and then Imitech, who's also got D3 Living Metal, he gets all three wounds back. Now we're going to do our RP for the Destroyers. We're going to be plus one from the Cryptech. So on fours, we get one back up. Okay, that's not great. Okay, so that's the movement done for the Necron. So I basically backed away from Mortarion, as you can see, Scarab's at the front, trying to stay out of that seven inch bubble, just in case, um, because in his assault phase that special ability works. So we're gonna go on now to the shooting phase. I've done, of course, my will be done on both destroyer units. First up, it's going to be the Triarch Stalker shooting at Mortarion. So let's see what we can do. So we need threes, one bullet gets out, Strength nine, so it'd be uh, threes, and I get a one. Okay, so now we've targeted uh, Mortarian, we can re-roll the ones for anything else that shoots at it. So let's shoot some big guns. So first of all, we've got this guy here. He's gonna shoot his Doomsday Arc Cannon, Doomsday Cannon. So how many shots? One shot. Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm going to command point that. <laughs> uh, so, command point, uh, Imitech on a 5 plus can get his command point back. No? I'll see whether I can get it on a 5. I do. You so do? Okay. One. So now I'm going to re roll the dice. How many bullets are we going to get? Six. That's better. Okay, so we need threes. Re rolling the ones thanks to the Triarch Stalker. We get one more one and the two misses. Okay, so now we're looking at strength 10, toughness 7, threes. 
Uh, one misses, so you're looking at three wounds. Save two, one gets through. Yeah. Okay, and d6 damage a four. Four disgusting resilience. That should make one, so he loses three wounds. Three wounds. How many wounds has he got? It's 17. Okay. Okay, so now the Gauss Flayers into Morty. Okay, so we need threes. I'm going to be re-rolling the ones, although we don't have any ones. So oh, let's take the twos out. That was actually a pretty decent roll. Okay, strength four, toughness seven. We need fives. So that's seven saves in total at minus one AP. Let's four up the ones. Yep. Uh, make all but two, and then this is just eight damage once. One damage, yep. So five up to resilience, so one wound. One wound, okay. Next up is gonna be the second Doomsday Arc. Okay, so how many shots on the Doomsday Arc? We've got four, we'll take that. Okay, so we need threes. Rerolling the ones, luckily, because we've got three ones. Okay, all in, and then strength 10, threes again. Uh, oh dear, okay, just one. One to save. Four up. No, five oh, feel no pain. I'm going to use a well, CP. CP, okay. Yeah. Desperate times. I'll make it. You make it. Okay, so first of all, the two destroyers there shooting into Morty. We've got uh, my will be done, so threes. Re rolling the ones. Okay, so plus one, they all hit. And strength six, so we need fives, and we get nothing. Okay, so the second squad of destroyers, I'm going to use extermination protocol. So let's see if we can get our CP back from Imatech. We don't, you've already got yours back, so okay, right. So here we go, then. So I'm going to be able to re roll the hits and the wounds. Okay, so we need threes, so take the ones and twos out. Okay, so these are the re-rolls, and now we put plus one on, so the ones miss, everything else hits. Okay, so strength six, toughness five, we need fives. Oh yes, I know what I meant. <laughs> I know what you meant. <laughs> okay, so we take the fives out, and thanks to extermination protocols, and a six there, we can re-roll everything. So, we're looking for some fives and sixes, come on. We have another two, three fives. There you go, two, four, six, eight, ten saves. Big handful of dice coming there, come on, come on. Ten. <laughs> oh, this doesn't look very good. Uh, four sixes there, it's not bad. Uh, so five. Um, yep. So they're three damage each, yeah? Uh, D3 damage D3. they will be. Okay, yep. cool. So do you want to roll yep. that up then? Uh, D3 damage. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five ups. Saved four, five. That's not bad. It takes, so it takes five wounds. Five wounds. Okay, how many is he down to now? Twelve, he wants to seven. that, so down six. Okay, so now we're down to the HQ, so the Cryptek first. He needs a threes with his Staff of Light, and then he needs strength, uh, ooh, strength five, so fives, one save. Four up. Nope. What's this damage? Just one. One damage, yeah. Uh, so five up. Nope. nope. Takes another wound. Another wound. Six. Okay, and now imitate the Stormlord. He's going to use his destroyer staff. Okay, so he needs twos. Hold off, and then strength six, so it's still fives, and I get nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna have to put, you've got six wins left, yeah? Six wins left, yeah. Oh, oh. I was gonna call the storm onto Magnus because I have the chance of hitting all of those units, but, if I'm going to take Mortarion down, I'm going to have to roll a six on Call the Storm, and then he's just dead. And that's first blood, and I have nothing else to shoot. It's got to be done! Okay, so, I'm going to Call the Storm mm -hmm. on Mortarion. Okay. 
If I get a six, yeah. that's six mortal wounds. You get your resilience saved, yeah. though, don't you? You. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh. Oh dear, that changes things. That's all right. That's all right. It can be done. Okay, here we go. You ready? I'm ready. A five. It's not a six. Not a six, but I'll take it. Okay. Five mortal wounds. Two wounds. Two wounds, okay. So I've got him down to four wounds. Four wounds, yep. Oh. Oh. How are you going to do it? Uh, we'll see. Yeah, okay. I, to <laughs> I need a, I need to think about this. Okay, so I've decided that is it. The scarabs, of course, fell back, so can't assault. I could assault with this unit of destroyers, but so, um, so this, the assault phase still has to happen, though. So I still need. Yeah. To, uh, so. Um, a five. Okay, on a five, yeah. Yeah. Six. Okay. So D three water wounds on the scarabs. Just the one. One, one mortar wound on the scarabs. Okay, well I got him down to four wounds, so at least I've weakened him. So, um, let's find out what the score is. I managed to score one point for this Doomsday Arc and one point for this one. Ace, of course, scored two points in his turn for those two objectives in the corners. Right, let's move in now to the Thousand Suns, turn two. Okay, so the Thousand Suns, turn two. Everything here moving up. We're in the psychic phase and all psychic powers went off. Minus one to hit, three plus invulnerable save, minus one to hit. Uh, lots of smite coming in, plus a few other uh, psychic powers obliterating my scarab swarms, but that's what they were there for anyway. I have lost one destroyer as well and the cryptic has one wound taken off. Okay, I think we're into the shooting phase now, and we've got Mortarian's line gun. Okay, so he just shot his gun and managed to kill one destroyer from one unit, one from the other unit, and three wounds on Imatek. We are now going to go into the assault phase. Okay, so that is the end of the Thousand Suns turn. In the assault phase, Magnus got in. I took one wound off in Overwatch. Mortarian got in. Uh, but I did do two wounds in Overwatch. He's down to two wounds now. However, he did manage to take out two destroyers. Magnus took out another destroyer, killing the hold of the unit and Imitech the Stormlord. I didn't do any damage. I put all of my attacks into Mortarian, did nothing. And then at the end of the assault phase, I use uh, the stratagem to try and get Imitech back up. And I rolled a one, I used another command point to re-roll it, and I rolled another one. So that was Slay the Warlord. Plus two, uh, three points for standing on that objective, and the two home objectives there for the Thousand Suns, so racking up some victory points. As we move in to turn two for the Necrons. First of all, let's try and get some destroyers up. So we have the Cryptic there, so it's on a four plus. Hopefully a good roll. We've got two back up this time. Okay, so Necron turn two. Necron! Targeted most of the guns on Mortarian, taking his two wounds off. He actually exploded and three wounds off of Magnus and one wound off of my destroyer. The, go the Doomsday Arc here shot into uh, this guy with its big gun and did two damage. Uh, the small guns shot into Mortarium. In the meantime, over this side of the table, I moved the Triarch Stalker onto that objective there, and I used the Veil of Darkness on the Cryptic, putting him in the corner there, remembering that the Thousand Suns still have a Demon Prince in reserve. So that was it. I got three points this turn, so that puts me up to five points. How many have you got at the moment? Uh, I'm on seven points. Seven points plus first blood. No, that's including. Including that's first blood. Yeah. So, so it's five seven at the moment as we move in to turn three, turn three, and I'm still here for the thousand suns. Okay, so thousand suns turn three. So first of all, dealing with the destroyers here, a few smites came in, killing two, uh, and then the rest died in the assaults from the two demon princes. Over this side of the table here, this guy came in from reserve, tried to assault me here but failed. Magnus made himself hard to hit but didn't get his invulnerable save 
uh, down to 3 plus. After taking my Wraith down to 3 from Smite and doing Death Hex on them, taking my Invulnerable save away, failed his charge by 1 millimeter. Poor Magnus, I feel so sorry for him. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and that was it. So you, he managed to rack up three more victory points that turn. And we're going to move in now to the Necrons, turn three. Okay, so Necrons, turn three. So Necron. what did I do? Right, let's start this over the table. So I basically moved the Cryptek using his fly special rule up onto this ledge here. I then shot this guy into Magnus. Uh, along with these little guns and big guns and over this side of the table because I didn't kill him I shot this big gun into him as well these small guns shooting into this demon prince taking one wound off I eventually got Magnus down to five wounds low enough that I thought it might be worth a go with the wraith so I took the wraiths in however that toughness seven proving very tough uh, to get through even with strength six and I did no damage and of course as you can see Magnus then killed all of the wraiths off however Magnus is down to five wounds which isn't too bad I managed to rack up three more points for objectives so it's currently six points to eight as we move in to turn four for the Thousand Sons. Okay so Thousand Sons turn four. Araman coming over here uh, giving some psychic powers and smite taking this down to six wounds however of course in my turn I'll be getting one back from living metal uh, the front one here is hard to hit no three plus invulnerable save three isn't it yeah. and then over this other table this demon prince managed to get into assault and killed my triarch stalker and it didn't explode in the meantime Magnus tried his best to hide he did try to hide come on and miss it <laughs> <laughs> he tried to hide behind the building, doing smite, of course, into this Doomsday Arc, taking four wounds off of that, using another power, uh, what was it, on the cryptic? Um, the Infernal Gateway to do the bounce mortal wounds off the, okay. off the arc. Okay, so I got a mortal wound off of the cryptic, however, of course, living metal, I'm going to get that back, uh, and the Doomsday Arc, I've already rolled it, and I managed to get three wounds back on the Doomsday Arc. This time getting four points for objective, so starting to gain a bit of a lead now. In this particular tournament, you have to get more than 10 points than your opponent to get a major victory, unless of course you table your opponent. So, all to play for as we move in to the Necrons turn four. Okay, so Necron turn four, yes. starting on this side of the table. I shot the Cryptic into Magnus, did no damage and then declared all guns from this Doomsday Arc into Magnus, shot the small guns first, and I managed to kill him, taking all five wounds off. This Doomsday Arc shot the small guns into the Demon Prince, and took one wound off, the big gun into Araman. I didn't roll particularly well, and Araman saved all the wounds that came in. So I gained another two points for standing on two objective points, as we move in to turn five for the Thousand Suns. Okay, so Thousand Suns, turn five. These two Demon Princes just here hiding from the other Doomsday Arc, using Smite and some powers along with Araman, taking my Doomsday Arc down to one wound. Then on this side of the table, these little guys I think tried to advance up towards this objective but failed so the prince just stood on the objective instead giving them four points in this phase taking your total 16. score to 16 i am currently on 10 however i do get another turn so let's see what i can do necrons turn five okay so my turn five yeah. Starts off giving living metal to this, going up to two wounds, even though he's demised and hitting on fives, I managed to take Araman out, so that will slay the Warlord. Over this side of the table, this Doomsday Arc shot into the Demon Prince here, and in total I took three wounds off of him. That was it, pretty short turn, so let's find out if the game continues. A six. So yeah, the game continues. Right, let's have a look. Turn six for the Thousand Suns. Okay, so that was turn six for both of us. 
the Thousand Suns here try to advance this guy up towards this objective but only rolled a 1 and then did some psychic powers and did a perils he's now down to 2 wounds uh, this guy here however managed to kill off the Doomsday Arc I did explode but was out of 6 inches of that over this side of the table the little horrors moved up in front of the Demon Prince uh, which meant that when I shot I had to shoot them and I managed to kill the whole unit off uh, so the Thousand Suns scored uh, three objective points that time. They also have First Blood, that's 20 for them. I'm currently on uh, 11 plus the 1 which I scored in this turn, so I'm on, I'm on 12. So let's find out if the game continues. A 6, it does. One more turn. Okay, so that was turn 7 for both of us. The game has ended. This prince managed to get onto that objective. This one climbing up the building onto this objective. And then over this side, the little character, whoever that is. Herald Changecaster. Herald Changecaster came up with the demon prince because these guys didn't advance enough. And then in my turn, I shot in, killed the demon prince, got the change master down to one wound with the cryptic which came off of the building. I then assaulted, uh, but I did no damage, so couldn't quite get that last objective there. However, I did manage to get 16 objective points, and the Thousand Suns got 25, so a victory by nine points, which would make a minor victory. Right, let's go table up and have a chat about the game. Okay, there you go. That was the game. It was. Yeah, not quite as quick as maybe we thought it was going to be. No, you hung on in there, didn't you? Yeah. You hung on in there to the, the bitter to ends. Turn seven. Made me fight for it. It's probably fair to say that having two tall buildings was, <laughs> yeah. was part and parcel of that. It did uh, help me quite a bit, didn't it? But I chose the deployment and so I should have realised that you cheesy Necron player was going to park your your two <laughs> big tanks that I couldn't get to on the two buildings. So you didn't sort of twig as I started putting objectives in the corners. I absolutely didn't twig, so I suppose <laughs> from my point of view, you know, I deserve that. But yeah, they, they, they obviously kept you in endgame. But, uh, yeah, but, they certainly yeah, helped. Um, and, well, from my point of view, I think I did okay in that, lit, in that game. Yeah. Uh, obviously, the main thing for me was to stop you getting at over 10 points. Yeah, which you did. Which I did, so mm. sort of a, well, as they say, it was a minor victory for me. It was. No, it was a minor <laughs> loss, wasn't it? It, might, it definitely wasn't a minor. It was a minor <laughs> victory in ways. Yeah, but, um, yeah. But yeah, not on the scoreboard. But, no. but yeah. But I think, you know, reality is you killed the two big guys, um, you know, you and you killed my warlord. And I don't have a very, I don't have a lot of models in my army, so you definitely took a big chunk out of it by the end of the game. And I think that's with going second and taking big casualties. When the first couple of turns, I didn't really fail too much, mm. too many crucial. I mean, the one minus on on Mortarian, but ultimately that didn't didn't really matter too much. Um, so I think if you'd gone first, it could have been a very very different game. And we say that so often in this. But, yeah, absolutely. Um, it is all about the first turn, isn't it? It is, and I think my army needs it so much. So, so I was a little surprised um, how you deployed, because uh, you had, obviously, your two big guys sort mm -hmm. of over to the left. I thought you were going to go in the centre position. Mm -hmm. uh, I imagined mm. that if I didn't get first turn, I was going to have both of those guys like in my destroyer blob. So yeah. You deployed slightly to the side. Why was that? Um, I was trying to measure out the distance from your and um, the buffs that you get from your stalker, um, and I know that that once it, it only really needs to target a, a unit, and then it's going to give it that. that Which is a good once. job because I hardly hit with it. You did hardly hit with it. <laughs> um, so I kind of thought if I could refuse flank a little bit, um, I was always confident that on Dawn of War that as long as I got warp time off, I could definitely springboard Mortarian mm. into the middle where I needed him. Um, but I just wanted to avoid avoid some of the shooting first turn um, and some of the buffs. I also thought that I would just try and make sure that your destroyers, if you got first turn, to that you had to use your, your Veil of Darkness because I wanted you to get all that kind of movement shenanigans out of the way first mm. because if you, if you had the opportunity to do it late game, you can then decide to get over into my deployment yeah. zone, start to kind of play some games, but actually if, if I can get that out and draw it out early game then I know exactly where you are for the rest of it so, so basically what you're saying is you were scared of my Necrons 
I was so scared. <laughs> Those big guns were so scary, Nick. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I mean, to be fair, the Veil of Darkness, I don't know if I would have done it first turn, because obviously I'm using the double my will be done from Imatech. Yeah. To try and keep them close together, but you have to go with what the yeah. flow of the game, don't you, really? Yeah, just not sure whether you would have been able to put one of the big guys down without it, and no, I suppose that's... Yeah. And that, if you're going to go for them, you need to get yeah. them, and you need to kill them dead, so... Yeah. but. Who knows? Who I knows? think if, if I had got first turn, I would definitely have gone uh, for Magnus, because obviously you didn't have the buffs up. Yeah. Which makes it, once he gets those uh, buffs up, it's really hard to three plus in Vaughn and hard to hit. Yeah. Tough, tough nut. Yeah. Um, but yeah, obviously the, the buildings definitely made a difference and really kept me in the game. I yes. think without the buildings, you would have you would have wiped me, wouldn't you? I think. It, it probably yeah. would have been over turn four, probably yeah. realistically, but you know, but ultimately it doesn't matter what board you play on you've got to make a, take the advantage from what terrain you have yeah. um, and that's part of being smart and being a good player so you know it's, it is one of those things um, and particularly on a unit that can be very fragile to combat I think it just, it's just a smart move and I should have probably seen it um, you know you've just been too crafty right. <laughs> and obviously I'm using single dynasty and I'm using a single detachment yeah um, how do you think I'm gonna fare I, I think you do all right to be fair. I think it's a it's a good balance list. It has has a bit of everything. Um, it does struggle to counter that psychic phase, but there's nothing you can do about it. that's just that's just Necrons. Yeah. Um, it has a fair bit of maneuverability to it, um, and it does dish out a lot of pain at close range. And you know you can't underestimate the ability of just having almost a standard minus one um, is very helpful because you're always putting me on my invon save anything that's fairly close. You know, mm. um, I think it's really good. Um, I don't think. You needed the CPs that much. Would have been nice. A few more crucial rerolls probably would have yeah. been handy. Um, but you kind of have your one hot turn where you can really kind of throw out all the CPs. And that's kind of your big gambit. Um, and I think reducing the strength of some of your real killer units by putting in warriors and um, to try and make battalions and other. Uh, uh, it, I just think it's probably going to tone down your your damage output. Which mm. I think in this format that we're playing at, damage output is king. So I think yeah, yeah I think your list is is definitely good. Um, it would have liked for turn one, um, and particularly giving away turn turn one to me is is is, is hard going. Yeah, and obviously where the tournament basically the only way to get maximum points is either to score more than ten points than your opponent, which yeah. is tough, or table okay. your opponent. Yeah. So we think there's going to be some real hard hitting lists at this event. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think it's going to be tough. Uh, but either way, it's definitely going to be enjoyable. Yeah, rolling dice is um, always good. Right. So all into the destroyers, funny enough. Rolling dice is um, always good. Everything into the destroyers, okay. Rolling dice is um, always good. He's going to regret that. Rolling dice is um, always good. The scarab swarms, I've got to sort them out in a minute. You yeah, wait. Rolling ones. Rolling dice is um, always good. Wouldn't those sixes be nice if you were Imperium? That would be lovely. Uh, rolling dice um, is always good. <laughs> Um, and now because of the aura of minus one toughness, these are also wounding on twos. Rolling dice um, is always good. And re-rolling ones for the plague weapon. Rolling dice um, is always good. Okay. Ouch, uh, that's a lot of wounds. Rolling dice um, is always good. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I must roll too many dice. <laughs> <laughs> I must roll too many dice. <laughs> Do that again. I do that again. Yeah. Do that again. Go with that. <laughs> Is that you? That was me. That was shocking. Excuse me. That's all right. <laughs> okay. Well, at least we've already got an outtake yeah. when I just started the camera. Yeah. Right. I don't want to stand so close. <laughs> Every time. Every time. This happened last time. Oh. <laughs> Today I'm with A Space from Twisted Dice, <laughs> and we're going to play a game of Necrons versus. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, let's try again. Come on.